what's going on fellas this is Leo from Practical Firearms and today I am bringing you a how to disassemble the Stevens 350 pump or a Ithaca model 37 pump it disassemble exactly the same way they're designed the same way so watching this video will help you learn how to disassemble either either one of them I'm gonna go ahead through some of the tools that I use for disassembling this gun I have here a screwdriver I have a size 4 bit and a size 10 bit okay I also have a pair of Twizzlers because there's part inside the receiver that need to be pressed together and this are going to be the best tool for that I use a long screwdriver with an extension and a size um, a quarter inch socket that will fit the uh, bit, the screwdriver bit because you have to reach into the bus dock and in order to reach into the bus dock you need about this much length so a standard screwdriver won't work and then you need a standard Phillips screwdriver that you can use to remove the bolts the hook up the butt pad to the bus stock so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that real quick for you first thing you want to do is remove the bus stock the reason why the bus stock is very important to be removed first is because in order for you to take apart the trigger mechanism and this bolt here in particular the bus that has to be pushed back the trigger mechanism has a little bit of forward and backwards play that allow this bolt to be a little loose when you go to disassemble it but while the bus stock is installed the bolt is putting pressure between the stock and the receiver also putting pressure in the trigger mechanism so there's no play on it at the moment so you have to get the bus stock off before you do anything else so let's go ahead and start with that to make the uh, package a little bit smaller and a little better for the camera to capture everything else so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my screwdriver standard Phillips screwdriver and I'm gonna go ahead and take off the bolts now I already took them off halfway just to make it a little easier I don't want to sit here on camera all afternoon and bolting bolts so I took them off halfway just to make it a little easier second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the bolt that sits inside of the bus stock on this particular gun it is a flathead bolt that you can access to you can have access to it by using an extension as this one with a you know, screwdriver like this one remember a quarter inch socket for a number 10 bit now this is going to be a little tricky because I got to look in there and reach in there find that bolt it's kind of dark out here in my work area okay so now that we finally removed the bus like I'm going to go ahead and show you that play that I was talking about there's a small amount of play between the receiver and the trigger guard and that play is what allows this uh, screw to back out if you don't have this little bit of play by removing the bus that this screw is really really hunkered down in there and it's not going to move if you try to remove it you're probably going to end up stripping it remember you move the stock the first thing you do you're going to have a little bit of play the next thing we're going to do is going to go to the front of the gun and concentrate on removing the barrel and the uh, pump out of it so now we'll come up to the front of the gun uh, most guns like the a70 so the 500s this um, magazine tube nut screws to the outside giving you access to remove the barrel well on this one it's a little bit different you have to first back it all the way in because of the fact that over here on this side you can see there's a small amount there's a small notch there and that notch has is part of the barrel right so the nut has a pin that goes all the way through and that barrel latches onto that pin so it doesn't allow it to rotate so you have to back it all the way down so it can clear the nut and come out of that port right there and then you can go ahead and finish the process so we're gonna go ahead and ro rotate this all the way in there's a detent here you're gonna hear a click so once we rotate the magazine nut all the way in next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actuate the action forward by pressing this tab here or backwards I mean we'll actuate the action backwards giving us access to remove the barrel next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate that barrel as I mentioned from this nut assembly here okay just simply rotate it 90 degrees and it comes right out now you can remove the barrel from the assembly set the barrel to the side you want to come back up here to the front we want to back the nut now all the way out so we can take the spring and uh, follow her out now the spring has been taken out of this gun already to make it easier for the video and in order for us to remove the pump itself you got to move this piece right here by using your four, your number four um, screwdriver bit 
and backing this bolt out. Once the bolt starts to back out, you can simply slide it out of the magazine tube. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look on how the actual um, pump comes out. Move the action all the way back to the front, lock it in place as you can see here. There are two small uh, D-tests that need to be pressed in together in order for the two uh, track bars of the pump to be released. So I'm going to use these Twizzlers here. Make sure I capture both of them well. They have very small springs that need to be depressed. And then with the other hand, simply slide the pump out. As you can see, the pump comes all the way out, leaving you with the uh, frame or the receiver uh, left to deal with. So now that we have the pump out, I'm going to sit it to the side and go ahead and focus on the receiver only. So now all that's left to do is deal with the receiver, uh, the ball, ball carrier, our ejection and loading uh, bar and your trigger mechanism so since everything has been removed out of it all these balls are going to be real easy to take care of you're going to use your number four to take out the smaller of the screws this has already been done by hand so I just simply turn them in once again it was already done to make the video easier but they'll be just as loose this bolt is not turned down it's actually kept in place by the smaller screw you saw me take out so put those to the side. Remember, don't lose them. They can go on either side, right or left. It won't matter. But uh, just keep in mind, don't lose them. The bigger bolt is also going to come out now with ease. It's not going to be pressed in there by any for any reason. If it is a little tight, you can just simply wiggle this a little bit until you get it loose. Should be able to do it fairly easy, no pressure at all. And then turn around to the other side of the receiver. And we're going to go ahead and finish taking out the nuts. Or the screws, sorry. The screws here come out the same way they did on the other side remember you don't you have to keep track of them but they go on either side they don't have to go on right or on the left once you remove those screws the trigger mechanism is going to come right out simply pull that all the way to the rear and then push with your finger or your thumb on the bolt and bolt carrier and with the other hand pull on the bar as it comes out let me show you exactly how it comes out as you can see the carrier and the bolt go in that fashion there the dual extractors and the skinnier part of the carrier go to the front towards the barrel. Same thing for the uh, bar here. The loop goes to the bottom. Simply pull that to the back and sit it to the side. So now that completes the full disassembly of the Etec Amato 37 shotgun. If you want to go into further detail, there's two little springs here that need to be removed for these two bars to be removed. The one bar that holds the magazine tube uh, the shells in the magazine tube until you pump the action back and that's it so for the most part this is how you disassemble the ethic model 37 shotgun